All right. Um, so to do a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we always want to do, when I, I told you guys to write this as a product of your factors. We're going to learn how to do this when we have a is other than greater than 1 or other than a number 1. But the way to kind of simplify this is always look to factor out numbers. Is there a, is there a constant that we can factor out that all these three numbers, that all, remember, we can all write this as ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are your real numbers. Is there a real number that they all share? Yes, Emma? Three. So what I can do is I can divide everything by three. So really, I get p squared, oh, that's a plus, right? Plus 3p minus 4. Plus. Now I write this, and can I write this now as a product of two factors? Right? Because you just factor out a 3, it's just a factor of it. So can I write this as a product? Yes. Now to write that as a product of your two factors, remember we can do a times c, which is negative 4. My b is 3. What two, number, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 4, but add to give you 3? And you could say positive 4 and negative 1. Right? So therefore, my factors are p plus 4 times p minus 1. Right? And that's how it's factored correctly. So always, ladies and gentlemen, when looking at this, always try to see if your a, b, and c share a common term. They can factor out. Did I do something wrong? Or yes? We'll, look, we'll talk about that today when we go over it. Um, we'll see if how your a different answer worked in. Yes? We're, we're going to talk about that today. Yes, I, would, I just wanted you to get, this is the simplest way to do it. We'll talk about how to factor it when you have a other than one, though, um, later today. Okay? 